to sneeze. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jody, and I'm so glad that you guys stopped by. So, this video is a video that I was gonna possibly do. I did an Instagram poll probably a month ago about would you see rather see a spring favorites video, which I did. I'll insert the card here or here. I don't know which side I'll pick. Um, and it was a poll that said spring favorites or how I curl my hair. And people picked the spring favorites. But this video is how I curl my hair day to day. And I'll show you guys every, I'll show you the, guys the whole thing. It's probably gonna be a little bit longer than normal, but it's because I want you guys to make sure that you know exactly how I do it. Um, so yeah, this is the finished product. Um, you might not like it, so I hope that you guys still watch it if you don't like how it turned out. But yeah, let's get this video started and then I can go to work after. <laughs> okay, everybody, so last night I washed my hair, slept on it, and I only put like, it's a 10, this, this spray in it. Normally, I would put like a volumizing spray in my roots, but for today, I don't really need it. I'm just going to work, so. But you don't always need it. You know, for me, I don't have the thickest hair and I like more volume, so that's why I use it. Um, and my hair is pretty short, but this curling tutorial that I'm gonna do for you guys, I did when my hair was down to here too. So the same process can work for any kinds of hair length. So, so the first thing I'll do is for my like hair, I only do two sections normally. So I'll take right here by my ears and go up. And then I'll put a little clippy. Okay, then this hair, I'll go in with the Lang Heat Shield, the Rival. I love this stuff. Makes it so soft, and I feel like it makes the curl hold really good and it smells so amazing. So then I'll comb through that. Yeah, and you always want to do heat protectant and make sure that your hair is completely dry. The worst mistake you could do is putting a curl in when your hair is wet because you're just going to make breakage. Okay, and then I'll start from the back here. Take a little section like that. And so the look that I'm going, and okay, the wand I'm using is a one inch Numi wand and I love it. I love this wand so much. So yeah, it's the one inch. Um, and so for the look that I'm going for is, okay, see, that happens a lot because, you know, I don't have that much hair. It's going to be kind of a PC look. So back here, don't focus all your attention on the back. So I'm going to hold my wand vertical and I'm going away from my face. Then I'll just hold it on there for like eight to ten seconds and let it fall. Kind of tug on it. And then I'll go the next section here okay and I'll take a little section right here and now I'm going towards my face so you're wrapping it around the barrel like that take a section up here at your crown Comb through with your fingers a little bit. Vertical again, away from the face. You know, it's just kind of like piecework. Every other one away from until you get closer to your um to your face. You know what I mean? Okay, and then a little drop. Yeah, don't tug on it too much because you want the you after you do the like heat on it, you want it to set. That's where the curl will stay. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna go toward 
towards my face with that. Okay. And yeah, make sure that your wand is upright like this and not like this because if you do like that, you're not gonna get like that beachy, it's gonna look more formal, you know what I mean? Like when you think of like the president, like the first lady, you know how like their curls are like, that's that. So you, if you want like kind of just like a tasseled, you know, just got home from the beach, kind of look, this is what you'd want. Upright. Sorry about my voice. Um, this past weekend was probably one of the busiest weekends of my life and it was so fun. Okay, so this side is done already, yeah, crazy. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Um, so this weekend I had one of my good friends wedding on Saturday that I did hair and makeup for. It was so pretty. The wedding was so pretty. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I would have put stories on uh, for you guys on there. But it was so stinking pretty. They had the wedding in a church. A re oh, the church was beautiful too. Um, and then they had their reception in a barn with like a pond. It was so gorgeous. They had fireworks that like afterwards they lit those like Chinese lantern things. I had sparklers. Oh, and the food was so good. Oh my gosh. They had um, brisket and like a like a red skin potato and green beans. And then they had cake and ice cream. It was delicious. Um, and so, yeah, my friend is actually moving out of state now with her husband. So I'm happy for her. So she's on her honeymoon right now. And it was a surprise. Her husband kept it a surprise for where they're going. So I'm not going to tell you guys either because I don't know if she like for sure knows or if they're like going to get to the airport and he's going to be like, oh, this is what the ticket is. Like, you know, just like show her the ticket and be like, that's where we're going. That's probably what he'll do. I don't know. Um, and then Sunday, my oldest niece graduated from high school. So that is crazy that she's 18 already and I'm 23. You know, the girl that was in the, um, the other video that I did, I'll do a little card here. It's the, which niece knows me better. So you could get to know her through that. Um, okay. So I got the bot and do you see how I leave the ends out when I curl, especially up front, if you want that PC look, wrap it around, but leave about that much out of your wand, okay? And always, these pieces, always away from your face, okay? Away, okay. So now I'm gonna spray it with hairspray. Hairspray is my best friend. I'm using the Aquage Freezing Spray. Um, they have different kinds. I use the finishing spray too, freezing and finishing. Um, this one, it's not as big of a hold, but I think it does actually amazing. So might as well actually just use this one. Nah, I'll stick to the freezing just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, then I just like lightly mist it all over. Don't run your fingers through yet, okay? Don't run your fingers through it yet. Wait until everything's done, okay? And so now I'm ready for my last section, which I mean, that's the plus with, you know, short hair or like my hair, how I do it like this. Um, like if you guys know that you have way too thick hair and you can't do two sections, you know, do multiple sections. Um, like if you would start here, you know, that's not the big problem. Um, the problem is when you end with your top section, that's the most important one because that's what people are going to see. So don't worry about like the bottom too much. Um, cause that's going to be underneath your hair. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start right here with the root or like the crown part. So I'm taking it straight down. Vertical. Shoot. I have to do that again. <laughs> da -da. Okay. Vertical. 
leave that little section out because you want that PC look. Um, yeah, this, I can literally curl my hair in like under 10 minutes normally if it's completely dry and everything. So, okay, I'm going towards my face here. So just kind of do every other one um, up until like the last two that are right by your face. So these two, I'm gonna go away from my face. But here, do you see how I have this? It goes from here to here. I'm gonna split it into two sections right in the middle. Not, not like this, no, like this. Yeah, okay. Then I'm gonna take it. And these do not, for me, these do not take long to curl because those are finer hair for me right by my face. Um, so yeah, just kinda wrap them around, maybe like five seconds. Okay, so that side is done. I'm not gonna set it with hairspray yet. Okay, now we're gonna go to this side. Um, so are any of you guys, girls who love big volume too? I love big volume. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side, vertical down. Um, so since I don't have like a ton of volume, you know, with like having thick, thick hair, teasing is something that I have learned from my sister when I was young. Um, and it just adds so much. I don't know when the last time I didn't like tease my hair when I like had a look, just to like give it a little bit of texture, give it a little bit of, um, and obviously you don't want to see the tease. You wanna cover that up and um, come over it. Okay, right here. This is away from the face, this piece. Down here. Okay, take, remember how we did on the other side, we took this amount and we split it in half. We're gonna do that same thing but these two are, okay, we're gonna split this in half. Okay, right there. This is gonna be one piece, but we're gonna split that in two then, okay? Okay, so start down further. You don't wanna be right up by your head um, for your side piece. Uh, so like, do you see, now like an, about an inch and a half away from my head. I just let it fall. Okay, then here, I'm gonna take a tiny piece right here just a teeny, not super huge. Then I'm gonna go towards my face. Yeah, towards my face going down like for two more seconds, one, two. Okay, and then pull on it because that one got a little too tight, do you see? So you want, if your curl gets too tight right away, pull on it and it will loosen it up, okay? And so now I am on my last piece for my hair. So I'm gonna take this, this is your most important section because this is like your swoop. Um, so take it, vertical, start about right there, about two inches away from your face. Hold it down, do you see how like the hair does not touch each other there? Yeah, that's exactly what you want. And then you let it go and you just get a bigger wave through there. It's more of a side swept thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and spray everything. Okay, okay, so now I'm gonna tassel this side because this is the side that I did first. Take my fingers through a little bit, open it up. Okay, now I do this side, fingers through. And then I lift that kind of up and I just Split. And okay, if you wear your hair up and you want your bangs out, you can do your bangs exactly like that with any other look, okay? So I have that all done. So right there, it instantly gave me volume and it instantly got rid of my like sleep on hair, you know, thing. So now I'm gonna go in and just tease it a little bit. Okay, and then did you see how I like combed over it a little bit? So I start on the sides. You can't, when you tease, you can't just tease right there, okay? 
you got to get the sides too or you're going to look like a ooh. Okay, right here I'm going to take it from like this section here, lift up. Be careful that you don't get rid of the curls. And then I'm going to go up and then one good one and another good one. Lay in front, do the same thing. And one more. Normally for a day-to-day -day look, because this is just my everyday curl hair that I normally do, I'll just put like three good teases in. Or three different sections, two teases in each one. Okay, let's see over here. Okay, two in there, comb right over it, but make sure that not like, you know, comb through your curls too. Bangs. If you want a teasing tutorial, um, let me know in the comments below if you're like struggling with teasing and how I can help you if you have, um, so like my hair, since I highlight it, I have a lot more texture to it. I know some of my friends have super silky hair and teasing is super, super hard for them because it just doesn't stay. So I can show you guys how to do that in a different video. Now I have my tease in, I have my curl in, so I'm just going to go through it and spray it one more time to set it. I'll take, I'll grab here. Lift it up a little bit and kind of tassel it while I spray because then it like stays there. And that is my final curl look. It's very like tasseled. Hopefully it doesn't look like I tried too hard because that's the whole point. <laughs> so yeah, I can do this look in like eight to 10 minutes. Obviously it took longer because like I showed you guys how to do it and I couldn't just go whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I hope you, that you like this type of video and that you give it a big thumbs up and I'm super excited for the next video next week. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram here um, and make sure to hit the subscribe button because I would love to have more friends here on YouTube and see you guys every week. So yeah, I hope that you guys have a great week and remember that you are chosen by the Lord and that you are so uniquely made and that you are so beautiful and God created you so unique. If he cares for the birds in the sky, how does he not care for you? So yeah, have a great week and I will see you guys next Monday. See ya.